Welcome back to episode 8 of Top 5 Epic Plays. I'm your host, Fly Daily, and before we get started, just one quick thing. If it is possible for you guys to upload to YouTube, it will greatly increase your chances of being selected for the next Top 5. The reason is, from my experience, replays become distorted over time. Not the quality necessarily, but more of the gameplay, so rockets and uh, guns don't follow the correct trajectory for the target, so it looks kind of silly when it's being played back. Alright guys, thanks for the eyes and ears. Let's get started. Starting out the countdown, we have a BF-110 trying to save a friendly bow fighter. Don't judge him for friendly fire, he was just trying to help. High five! This is sportsmanship and teamwork at its best. The high five throws the 110 into a shielding maneuver to protect his teammate from not one, but two pursuers. Carnage. Carnage everywhere. For number four, we have Foe Hammer flying out the spit in some arcade, and as we can see, things are not looking too good. Fire blazing and tail gone, there's really nothing for him to do. Oh, well, round, round, round he goes. Who's he going to frag? No one knows. Well, frag you. Taking number three is Nebula, piloting the D-13 in some realistic battles. He's looking back at the Spitfire trailing, trying to build separation to engage. Here he goes, pulling back on the stick for 180 to engage the Spit. Come on, get on target. He gets the kill, but Rams loses his right wing. F8F in front, can he hold composure? Pot snipe! I just love how the F8F pot only got three or four rounds out of the chambers before getting domed. Great job, Nebula. Alright, so we all know the Germans World War II had some pretty cool technology, but what if I told you the whole basis of the Romulan cloaking device was prototyped on the TA-152? Oh, you didn't see it come in? Keep your eyes on the right side of your screen for a replay. The atmosphere was perfect for that TA to blend in. Great catch, host. Don't get mad at me, that's his in-game name. And ladies and gentlemen, for the number one spot this episode, we have Clef dying with the bf 9 k 4 If you can't tell, his tail is non-responsive to input and his engine is dead. Check out how he makes something of nothing. You guys hear that? I just said wow in Russian. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I know. Thanks. But <laughs> but the main reason I picked this is because he just really never gave up. When that normally happens to me, usually I just bail out of the aircraft and get all frustrated. And also because it's damn hard to get those gun sights on target without elevator control. All right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this top five. Here are the results. Clef with 3,000 Golden Eagles. Hose with 2,000 Golden Eagles. Nebula, Fohammer, and a guy who I'm trying to get his name from. We'll get it in a little bit, but for right now, we'll keep it at BF110 with 1,000 Golden Eagles. Thanks for all the support, guys. I love it. Remember to send your clips into top 5 at warthunter.com for a chance to win Golden Eagles and to be featured on the next episode. Until next time, peace out.